Hi, welcome back. I'm Piyush. This is my third video in the series on inventory management. In this video, we are going to discuss what is popularly known as economic order quantity or EOQ. EOQ is a beautiful introductory model that helps us understand inventory management. If you've seen video number two, we said the objective of inventory management is to minimize cost. And there are two categories of cost that we have here. One is the cost of having too much. Okay, you have too much inventory and there are costs associated with this and there are also cost of having too little. So if you have too little inventory, there are costs associated with it. Objective of inventory management is to minimize the sum of these two costs. Now EOQ just takes one cost here of too much and one cost here of too little. So the cost involved here of too much is what we call as the holding cost. Uh, this includes the inventory or the carrying cost or whatever the space cost of carrying too much and the cost of too little what EOQ talks about is what we call as the ordering cost. Because I carry too little I have to order frequently and I would need more people to order I would need more paperwork. So, so what EOQ does as a model it seeks to optimize or minimize the sum of the holding and ordering cost. That's the EOQ model. Now let's understand the entire concept of inventory management as per EOQ. Now let's have two axes. Suppose this is my Y axis which talks about inventory. This is my X axis which talks about time. This is time T. This is inventory I. Uh, now whenever I am in this situation, my inventory, what happens? I start with some level of inventory, something here. I use up my inventory uniformly. As soon as I reach zero, I again get some more inventory and uh, the inventory comes to me and I start using up at the same uniform rate again. So I'm using at uniform rate. I reach close to zero. Again, I get some new material and I start using up at a uniform rate and the story continues. Now, this is what is the EOQ model. Now the EOQ model is, has lots of assumptions. That it says the demand is uniform, like you're saying, you use at a constant rate and the rate is known. The delivery, as soon as I reach zero, new material comes up. So it's perfect, reliable and instant. And the holding cost or the carrying cost and the um, ordering cost are known and are constant. They don't change. So those are the assumptions um, that we have in EOQ model. Now let's look at an Excel sheet and try and understand how the concept of EOQ works. Uh, I have an Excel sheet here. There is a yearly demand of 4000 units. The holding cost is 5 rupees or 5 dollars per unit per year. And the ordering cost is 100 rupees or 100 dollars per order. Uh, let's assume I'll take seven different situations, seven cases. Case one, case two. I'll use Excel to give me the remaining case 6 and case 7. So let's assume my order quantity Q. In each case, I could say order 50 units, I could order 100 units at one time, I could order 200 units or 400 or 500, 1000 or say 2000 units each time. So these are different ways. So I need 4000 units a year. That's fine. That's constant. But these are seven different ways I'm considering in, in, in so that I can order 4,000 units in a year. I order 50 every time, I order 200 every time and so on and so forth. Now, since I need, I order 550 every time, let's go back to our uh, main sheet. What happens is here, this is 50. Okay. I allow it to reach zero. If I'm ordering say 500 every time, I'm ordering 500 and I allow it to reach zero. Now my holding cost, if you look, is rupees 5 per unit per year. I'm not carrying a constant quantity. The con quantity that I'm carrying is changing from the maximum, which is 50 or 100 or 500, to something zero. So obviously the inventory carrying cost will be on the average. And the average is the maximum plus minimum divided by 2. And since my minimum here is zero, it's maximum divided by 2. So my average inventory on which I'll apply um, the holding cost average inventory is maximum plus minimum divided by 2 which is in this case we said it's maximum divided by 2 is equal to 50 divided by 2 this is my average inventory in each case I will copy this formula and the my total holding cost 
will be equal to this average inventory multiplied by cost of holding per unit per year so 125 rupees in this case and in the last case I, I need to fix up I need to fix this dollar so that I can copy the formula so in the maximum case I will incur 5000 as the inventory holding cost and here I will order 125 rupees all right now since I am ordering 50 each time and I need 4000 my number of orders n which is number of orders would be equal to 4000 divided by my order size 50 so my order size is 80 I will place 80 orders here let me fix up this that I can copy control C I paste it and so so when I'm ordering 1000 and I need 4000 my order number of orders is 4 my ordering cost is rupees 100 or 100 dollars per order so my total ordering cost becomes the number of orders times cost per order and I copy I fix up this um, dollars and I then copy this formula Excel makes copying easy so I'm ordering it four times so it's 400 100 per order so the total cost associated with inventory here is the holding cost plus the ordering cost so 8125 rupees I copy this and I get different values of cost the objective of EOQ is to minimize so as per this sheet I should order 400 units because my cost involved here is minimum Let, let's make a graph to understand it and so that um, it becomes easier I'll hide a few um, rows I'll hide this and I'll hide the, hide the number of orders and so I have Q and uh, the cost so I'll select it and insert a scatter chart uh, here I am scatter chart so this is what we get I'll switch the axis uh, select data switch column and row wonderful this is my scatter chart so I'll just shift it to the side so that we get a better view of the data as well as the chart now what's happening look my order size keeps on increasing from 50 to 100 to 200 to 400 the total ordering cost keeps coming down because obviously when you order larger quantities in one batch the number of orders will reduce but your holding cost which is this which is you can look at it here keeps on increasing so th this line is the total cost and at this point the total cost is the minimum uh, and and by some chance the total cost is minimum at the point where holding and the ordering cost are equal so this if I drop a line here the line would drop to 500 or sorry 400 where the cost are minimum let's get back to our sheet and understand so what I can do one thing I can do here is um, I'll paste the chart here uh, for every situation I can follow the same principle make um, various cases and calculate make this graph and find the lowest cost and say that this is my EOQ 400 or I can use the EOQ formula which is the simple one here EOQ means uh, uh, economic order quantity is the square root of 2 times the cost of ordering or cost per order into the yearly demand divided by the total uh, by the cost of holding uh, per unit per year so now let's try and uh, um, create this uh, formula so we have some data which we'll use from the numerical which we saw the yearly demand was uh, uh, 4000 units the cost of ordering was rupees 100 per order cost of holding 5 per year so my EOQ EOQ that I have is equal to square root I go as per this formula 2 times um, cost of ordering which is 100 times 4000 so this 4000 is also under root divided by 5 so when I expand this formula uh, 5 and this 5 times 8 um, and is 40 0, 0, 800 so what I get is square root of um, 800 so 8000 80000 16 and 1 2 3 4 zeros and this is nothing but 400 units and is the same thing which you 
got by this graphical analysis. So this is a very simple understanding uh, of what EOQ is and how to calculate EOQ by this formula. I hope you like this formula uh, and like this video. Uh, please uh, do share it with your friends and leave your comments uh, to help uh, improve better. Stay tuned. We'll have two more videos to help you understand the entire topic of inventory management. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.